Morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. So today's topic, I didn't post last week. Last week's topic was a little, uh, something I don't really have any experience to share on yet. <laughs> but, uh, today's topic, how to transition socially, how to stay safe. That, that I have experience with. <laughs> um, so for me, uh, transitioning socially, one of the biggest things I needed to do was get uh, friends. I needed to find out who my actual friends were. So I, I went to a couple people I trusted uh, outside of my family and told them I was trans, you know, outed myself to them and tried to explain on my limited understanding at the time what that meant. Um, and at the time, all I could say was, I, I know I'm male. <laughs> I know what I look like, but I know I'm male. I don't know why I'm like this or anything like that. I tried not to get too deep into it. I just said, you know, I'm, I'm going to start transitioning um, socially. Uh, and I just need some people in my corner. So they said, yeah, you know, cool. Uh, I didn't know any other trans people. Um, and I came out later in life. I was 37 when I publicly came out and started socially transitioning. I lived as a heterosexual female for that whole time. I'd been married for 13 years to a man. Um, and I'm not attracted to men. I'm, I'm a straight guy. So I was living up to social norms that were only based on appearance for me and really had nothing to do with who I really was. <clears throat> so transitioning socially for me meant I also needed to um, question everything I believed was true about myself and the world in society and keep myself safe mentally and emotionally, um, spiritually, you know, all of that. Apart from any external threats, I was still my greatest threat because I, I still believed that there was something very wrong with me. I didn't know that trans men existed uh, until a couple of years before I, I came out and started socially transitioning. Once I found out that I, that being transgender was not a mental illness. You know, once I learned that there's nothing mentally wrong with me just by being transgender, it's just the way that I am. Um, I didn't quite believe that, but I learned the information. So that was a foundation I could build on. And I think, I guess where I'm going with that is uh, staying safe in social transition. Yeah, there's external um, dangers. You know, there's, there's bigots, there's transphobes, there's homophobes, there's all of that. Um, that pose a threat, but I also need to worry about myself as my own threat, um, uh, and educate myself. Uh, I had to educate myself as to what transgender was and what that meant for me. So, yeah, so I had some friends in my corner, um, and I learned who my real friends were. My real friends stopped talking to me. My real friends... Um, I mean, my real friends stuck by my side. My fake friends stopped talking to me. They walked away. They, you know, uh, some threatened, you know, I got notes and, you know, whatever. Um, so being aware of my surroundings is still important for me. Um, I'm medically transitioning now, but I'm also ongoing social transition. Everybody is in social transition. Every human being is in a social transition. Um we need to be moving forward. So this isn't necessarily a, a trans thing. This is just a human thing. Being trans brings an extra level of challenges <laughs> to transitioning though. So, um, staying safe is knowing my surroundings, staying close to people that, uh, I don't have to over explain who I am to constantly. They just, whether they believe me or not, they just, take it for granted and say, okay, you're a guy, we'll go from there. Um, I need that sort of like off the hook friendship to just be who I am and explore who I am because I, I don't have all the answers. You know, uh, being trans is not a, a pre-canned, you know, pop the can and, oh, look, I'm a dude. You know, it's, uh, I call it the insta-dude phenomenon. It's just not, I'm not an insta-dude. I'm still uh, trying to figure out what it even means to be human and a man you know, and, and all of these things that go together. So um, I would say keep your friends close. 
you know the difference between friends and frenemies. Some friends are actually enemies in disguise. And it's not their fault. They just don't know any better, but they're not willing to know, so let them go. Um, we'll keep moving. I hope that helped. I hope it wasn't too rambly. Thanks. Happy Sunday, y'all. Thank you.